In case you can't tell, I love color. On this episode of Make It, I'm hanging out with New York City fine art photographer Adrian Broom. Adrian creates sets drenched in color that are out of this world. I also got to tag along with her on a photo shoot inside a very cool Brooklyn mansion. Check it out right now on Make It. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you a lot for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you for having me. I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, the stuff that you do is really, really awesome, very inspiring. And I want to share that with uh, other folks out there. When people ask what I do, I, I say I build large scale sets and then I stage narrative scenes in them. I do a lot of storytelling, not capturing it on the street, other people's stories. These are stories that I make up and I narrate like every little aspect. Even though it sounds very planned, it's actually usually kind of the opposite. I have a general idea, and then the stories usually kind of unfold themselves. Mm -hmm. It's usually a little whimsical or a little kind of otherworldly. Mm. Um, I guess that's what I do. That's what you do? Yeah, that's, well, that's what I cool. do. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of these photos. Um, we got some of your images here from your color series. Okay, so this project, it started, I had an idea. I went into a friend's, um, she was pregnant, she's about to have a baby, they had a nursery, and everything was white. You know, there was a little white crib and like a rocking chair and everything was white. I was like, that's so beautiful. And I was like, can I do a shoot in here? And she was like, sure. And then I just kept thinking, it would be amazing to build a world where everything that's supposed to be white, there's like um, marshmallows and cotton balls and bunnies and like everything to make this world. I funded this whole project with a Kickstarter, which was amazing. And then um, right now I'm actually pitching it to have it published as a children's book. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So it's, it's exciting. So the whole story, she wakes up and everything has disappeared, all the color. Mm. So she explores a little bit and then you can kind of see her go. Then she goes into the red world. Yeah. Anyway, I had the, the same little girl. It took us three years. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and then that's, you see her in a grown up, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Another series that you have, this being series, I thought was really, really cool as well. This is kind of my next big project mm -hmm. after the color project where I wanted to take a little bit of a break from building these big sets and actually go into places that were fascinating in themselves and just bring small elements that still kind of make it a little otherworldly. Like this dress I made by, we sewed like thousands of little LED lights into it, um, which I loved when she moved, the light just moved with her and mm. it was very dark in the room. So it was kind of just anything that was around her was Ethereal illuminated. Of some sort, yeah. I loved it. So we shot this at this place called Wentworth Woodhouse, which is in South Yorkshire. Right. And we stayed there for about two weeks and lived in the house and created this body of work. You know, this is light that I created coming in through the windows. Mm -hmm. I only really work with constant light because mm -hmm. um, I really like to see what the scene is going to look like. Right. One thing that, that I think is really interesting about this series different from the color series is this series of photos, there's a lot more space inside of them, both yeah, literally and figuratively. Well, for this work, it's also, I feel like it's much more emotional in a way, um, especially for me. And I've, I've realized more over the years, especially starting this project, that it is a little, in a selfish way, therapeutic for me. So when I take a photo and I immediately connect with it, I think it's because of something I'm going through and for some reason that narrative just hits me at that time, mm. when maybe a few months from now, it wouldn't. Where does your inspiration for all these different styles or approaches come from? Like, like, I think it all usually just starts from that simple seed. Like I went into a friend's apartment and there was that nursery. Mm -hmm. And I think it was just when I get really excited about an idea, I kind of go full all force. In. Yeah. Um, and with these, these are bigger projects, but stuff that I've done in the past when I was starting off, I would see just like one prop and be like, we have to build a shoot around this. <laughs> and then you like would just do it. Everything starts from this one thing. It, it does. literally it is like that seed. It does. Yeah, it's just kind of a seed. And then if, I'm, if I keep thinking about it and it grows and it grows and it grows, then I know that, all right, well, I have to do this. What I loved about watching you work was the idea that uh, oftentimes you have, as we talked about, a seed of an idea and you try that out and then you just move it and you reposition it. And one of the things that you told me that, that really stuck with me, I think it was really great, was if you're having trouble creatively or if you don't like something, just move. Usually when I do these things, I have like a general idea and like a location and a person and then we just move everything around until Click. I figure out, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Cedric, how long ago do we plug this thing in? All right, and then we can lower it. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm bringing a crew over. Huh? I'm bringing it. Is that the first job I worked with you? So I had this idea that I wanted to build these big flowers, and we were talking about it and trying to figure out how to make them. So it's made of like flooring material, kind of like foam that you put under the floor, cool. under vinyl, I guess. I love the way they turn out. Like these are awesome because we painted like the edges so they're a little darker. Put it up where it's not well, what I'm thinking that. is since this one's as done as like I'm happy for this You're for okay. right now, okay. I think we put it in there and we start like getting the shoot together because they don't, we can do one at a time and then keep adding. All right, I might have you just change and then like when I need you, you can like hop back and forth. I'm just gonna kind of plop her in there and then I'll move around until I like the way it looks mm -hmm. and then we'll turn on a little bit more atmosphere and maybe right. move some lights and then shoot that until I feel like I got it. Um, all right, Paul, I'm gonna have you sit on the, on the thing. I'm just gonna figure out the lighting but I do want it to dry so like super soon. Well, could I have you turn and kind of like face that way, like out the window almost? Mm, maybe turn, sorry, turn your body that way a little bit more and then head towards the couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, I love her shadow, I think looks really beautiful. So that's kind of what I'm maneuvering around. And that shadow that you're seeing? Looks yeah, really cool. I really, really like the mm -hmm. shadow. Maybe we do need the fan. Well, will you look out the window behind Cedric? Yeah. Perfect. I mean, honestly, Cedric, the natural light is like beautiful right now. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, now I really want the smoke to come in from outside. Pretty flowers? No, like the flowers over here. Oh. What I kind of like right now is all this natural light coming in and then the flowers just kind of creeping in. So you kind right. of look and you have to like second guess what it in is. The shadows a little bit. Exactly. And just well, will you look heel, up. Heel, 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 heel. Well. Yeah. Wait there a sec. Yeah, that looks great. And angle your head toward, yeah, 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 so I can see you a little bit, perfect. I love this. Let me see. I'm curious. Mmm. Yeah, I like it. You can spend all day long with like one shot in mind, and then you just move like a couple little things to something so simple, and it's perfect. Mm. I feel like that's always how it works. Apollo, you want to see? Yeah. Come on, come on. It's like, finally. <laughs> that looks really cool. Oh. Hello. Let's take a look at some of the photos that, that uh, you got out of there. Um, so this what, is an extension of the Being Project that we were looking at. And one part of the project is that all of my subjects are women who are friends of mine who work in the arts that are really inspiring. Mm. And this is my friend Apola. But this is the first time she's ever posed for me, so mm. I was really excited. Um, the space is amazing. It um, used to be a ship captain's mansion and back in the day. So this used to be the dining room. Mm. It's also where the movie The Sentinel was filmed, which mm. was a horror movie in the 70s. Okay. Um, so that was kind of my seed. And I've recently been experimenting with different kinds of props. So I decided to start playing with building these huge, massive poppy flowers. Right. Um, well, that's like how this it, one. That came out. That looks really, really cool. We shot in this space for a while and I liked this shot and I liked another one, but I was really struggling. So finally I was like, ah, screw it, let's take everything down and like yep. move across the hall. So we moved across the hall um, and put all the flowers in this other apartment. Right. And I actually, I really like this narrative. These, just full stop, are not edited yet. So these are all raw right out of the camera. And I really, really like this story that's kind of unfolding. Yeah. It's um, a lot of fun. I remember some of the other photos that I saw, like in the back of your camera, that I can't wait to see. Like, yeah. where you had, like, there was a mirror in the hallway and playing off of, you could see Apollo, like, on both sides. And, the, and you yeah. could actually, like, you might not even be able to see, like, in this one, you can't see into the door, but through the mirror, you could. So yeah. there's a lot of really fun things that came out of there. And it was really fun watching your, your creative process because ultimately, that's, that's what we want to do. We want to try and, like, you know, get into your head and figure out, like, what are you yeah. doing? What's going on inside of there? <laughs> it's a fun place inside your head, the, the uh. little bit that we see. All right. Well, thank you very much again. Yeah, thank really you. Really appreciate you coming out here, and I really appreciate everybody uh, back at home coming and joining us on this episode of Make It. Join us next time.